you, you would find persons who are on the rebound would be people who either they're in a relationship and they're going to break up and they realize that this relationship is ending so they get into a relationship so that they wouldn't have to go through that whole turmoil of wanting the person, missing the person. Th their life just goes fluid. Like you don't run after a person when you have somebody else occupying that space or trying to um, fix the problems that you may have had in the previous relationship. Or they may be a person who was, let's say they were in a relationship over a year and they broke up and let's say two months three months later you find them they're so in love they're so you know they finally found their soulmate um, and they're ready to commit like they're ready to commit they're ready to probably move in with the person they're ready to 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 to, to, to get married you know they're ready to take the relationship at a speed that everybody else on the outside would be looking at it like hold on this 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 doesn't it doesn't make sense but to the person who's in the relationship, as far as they're concerned, they're saying to themselves and to everybody else, listen, I'm okay, it was normal, I already finished with the past relationship, I'm cool. Uh, they were the problem. See, this person, this person actually loves me. This person understands me. This person cares about me. This per so, so they don't even acknowledge the fact that, you know, that that whole grieving and healing process didn't really take place in them because the person who they're with actually helps them to get over that process. So that person at times may be the person that have to go through the emotional roller coaster with them. Sometimes they got to nurse their feelings and emotions and everything when they get emotional over the whole ex situation. They may be back and forth over the whole thing of whether they um, hate the ex or not because inside they're battling they don't want to go back to this person and they're hoping that this relationship that they're in gives them enough of a reason to not go back so what would be the obvious question who would date the rebounder well you have some scummy guys or girls who probably wanted to get with this person a uh, long time ago didn't really have the opportunity, now they kept them at that low point and they are more susceptible to say yes when usually they may, may not say no. As a matter of fact, even if they get into a relationship with this person, they may have more patience than they normally would have in a normal relationship when their emotions, when their emotions are like normal. And you know, there's something that's euphoric and romantic about this kind of relationship of, of course that's why joe and them they make a lot of money singing about songs like i want to know what turns you on i want to know what does this i want to know that they want to they want to be the one that always make you smile like he sings some really hot cool songs because that is the feeling that you want to feel you didn't feel appreciated here now you feel appreciated you didn't feel loved here now you you, you, you feel it this way so the person who usually would go after that person would be either a somebody who they dated before you'll find them reconnecting with an ex why because there's a level of familiarity when you connect or reconnect with an ex as opposed to reconnecting or connecting to a new person you'll feel like oh this person know, know me long time they know my ups and downs they know my faults they know me inside out and you know this really is the person who i'm supposed to be with i don't know why i was messing around and messing up my life and all of a sudden this person becomes that bomb that gauze that packs that wound and they make it so much better and that job is to make it better now depending on on on, on the person who they were dating uh, that ex may get a whiff of the fact that somebody else there and put some pressure on or they may just do the opposite and be like mm -mm, nah i ain't going back because not all exes are created equally. Not all of them, they would come back and try to work things out. No, especially if the person, if they feel like they're right, they, they just may not, then some people do. But that person who, who they used to date before, that's the perfect candidate. When the people in the relationship may have been having challenges, if they were talking to that ex, oh, that ex is like a dick in a glass case that they would break in the case of an emergency. You would know just who on your girl, just by the same person who you probably might arouse her about once or twice I had some suspicion of, or the flip side, some girl who you may have had some suspicion about, but it never really materialized. They like snake in the grass just waiting. Now, not all exes are like that, because some exes, 
Uh, I mean, like, an ex is okay to be a friend if that ex has no romantic interest. But if they have an interest, well, well, like I said, that's the glass case. They can break that and vagina comes out of that glass case or a penis comes out of that case whenever you decide to mess up. Now, the, the flip side to that is they may, they may decide that they want to date somebody different. And if they come across a new person, then they fall head over heels in love with that new person. And like I said, it moves really fast. They'll go from I just met you to we smash in to I want to move in, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. That's kind of how it happens. But the same way how it escalates really quickly is the same way how it like decelerates also very quickly. So, uh, with that being said, I'll give you the pros and cons of dating somebody in a rebound. If you wanted to date that person a long time and never had the chance, and they in that rebound situation, you got them. So when you get into that relationship, you will inherit some feelings, some love, all of the love and feelings and everything that they had for this person, then you actually would get it. The only thing that you would have to do to make sense in that relationship is just not do the things that your ex, that her ex or his ex did. Because they're probably going to tell you, they're probably going to share it, so you just don't do that stuff. And you go hard in the opposite direction and it's like, oh yeah, he never used to do this, he never used to do that, she never used to do this or that. So you become the perfect other person, the perfect alternative, that perfect relationship. But the flip side to that is you also, you also inherit the emotional baggage. So the things that she wanted to tell him that she didn't tell him, she could tell you for sure. The, the stuff that she never got to get off her chest, you may be the person actually toting all of that and carrying it. And, and let me tell you something, there's a funny thing. You, you have to look at that relationship. Unless you're a person who's emotionally unavailable and you don't want a permanent relationship, you just want something temporary, you want to fling, you want to have some fun. If you are not that person, because for that person, that person on the rebound is perfect because that relationship could be very temporary. Temporal. Until their feelings start to change, maybe the ex decides to come back or maybe they love you today and ain't sure they will be with you. They may be with you thinking about their ex or you know, just trying to get over that. But once they get past that and it turns into a regular healthy person, they may realize, hold on, there was no way I would have date this person. So that's the flip side to it. It's a loving, beautiful situation where you're actually with this person and they're loving you, you're loving them, but you're like a spare tire. You're like that dummy tire in the back of the car that you don't ride on normally, but you know, it was a situation going on, so you put that on, but it works. So that person is like, okay, I don't want to kick this person to the curb because they're a good person, they helped me through a rough time, they did, they, um, um, they're loving and they don't deserve any kind of ill treatment from me. I don't have a reason to not want to be with them. But when they become, when you become emotionally um, uh, stable, all of a sudden, that relationship is a relationship that kind of loses its reason to be there because you don't really love them. You love how they made you feel and how they treated you in the time when you were emotionally beat down. So their goodness and their kindness and their sweetness all of a sudden becomes the thing that, 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 that kind of entraps you. So, you know, like you're caught between a rock and a hard place. And some people, what they do, they tend to give into that particular feeling and some people resist it. Some people resist and they push and push away and they look for any excuse to try to get out of that relationship and people feel like, oh, that person turned so cold. No, they never was really in love. You are on the rebound. And you have, to, you have to recognize that. And then the second thing is, if you decide to pressure them into that relationship, now both of you in a relationship, and, you, and that person is in a relationship with somebody that they don't really want to be in, and they decide that they're going to make it work, and hey, you got this, I love you, you love me, you are false, I understand that, uh, this really would have been my first choice, but we in it, damn it, we can make the best of it. Now, that's a soldier, <laughs> that person, make, make it happen. But um, if you get into that kind of relationship, uh, you know, really, I hope somebody who might have been watching this now, I, I don't know, you might have realized that you were in a rebound relationship, like, 
Like, like you might have been that rebound relationship with somebody else, and that might be the reason why they act the way that they act. It's not that they're a shitty person. It's just that you caught them at a shitty time. So that's rebound relationships. I might help somebody. <laughs> <laughs>